Hi, I'm Janessa here at the Perez Art Museum, Miami. Today's art making activity is inspired by Elliot Hudley. This is an intricate piece or sculpture that was made in 1975, and it focuses in on intricate pieces of houseware that are all put together in a collage-like I spy manner. As we look at this piece, we see more details the closer we focus in, and we can pick up things that we might even have in our own home, such as dishes, glassware, even seashells or things that we would see in the environment of our home, such as the beach. Some of the materials we'll be using today are colored tape or even just regular clear tape, some yarn or string if, that you have might, might have at the house. We have some pipe cleaners, straws, kitchen straws work for this project. Pencils can be used for this project. We have some dowels or even sticks. Some craft sticks are perfect for this project. We can use cooking utensils or any kind of stick-like utensil in the kitchen. And then even outdoor sticks, markers for color, and scissors for cutting. And the first thing that I'm gonna to wanna to do is start picking my materials, and I wanna use my tools for attaching, such as tape or pipe cleaner to start kind of putting my structure together. So the first part of my structure I wanna start with is I wanna start crossing some pieces of my straws together. And I'm using my pipe cleaner to then wrap that around. Now remember, if you don't have pipe cleaners at home, you can also use tape. So to go ahead and do my other side of the beginning of my sculpture, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my tape. Once I feel like it's secure, I'm gonna go ahead and let my sculpture stand in its beginning, just like that. And I'm gonna start looking at some of the other materials that I have to possibly add on to my sculpture. Some other pieces that I might wanna add is if I have some kitchen plasticware that I'd like to use. It's also a fun way to add to your sculpture and kind of really does go with the theme of this piece since it is something that you found in your home. I can add more straw pieces on here using the fork as a connecting part. And we can almost think of this as like a project kind of like Legos. And we're testing out what works and what doesn't. So if we put it on here and it tips over, then our sculpture is no longer balanced. So this is a great project to test balance and how things weigh and to kind of test where you can take it. Again, other attaching tools that we have are string itself, which I can use to just kind of tie other pieces on here. In this sculpture that Elliot Hetley made, string is definitely a material used to put this sculpture together. I could also include some outdoor pieces And for this add-on, I definitely want to use some pipe cleaner to give it some color. And as I continue working with this piece, I can keep adding different colors, maybe with tape with maybe different materials and keep building this piece out fully. So here I am now adding a pencil. Now how far or how tall I decide to build this out is up to me as an artist and so how tall you decide to build out your sculpture is going to be up to you. You can choose to make it super large, you can choose to leave it at a certain size. At the end of the day, you want it to be able to stand. Or maybe if you choose to challenge yourself a little bit more, you maybe even would think about hanging the sculpture somewhere from a piece of yarn to let it be a balancing sculpture from the air.